Hey guys, the time has come to do a a new review of my favorite Linux distro, my really favorite Linux distro, and that's Linux Mint. I, through some troubleshooting and some research, I figured out how to partition my Lenovo laptop. It was very easy to do that in, in Windows Vista. And then I used that, that extra partition to make the space here for Linux Mint. To make the extra space here for Linux Mint. And I had to do it uh, manually after that so that I wouldn't mess with any data that I already sectioned off. And it's very careful. I have a lot of very important data in here already for work and everything else. So, <clears throat> Fortunately, the computer's not locked to my company because the company is home-based. All right. So I have the menu here. And earlier today, I already went and downloaded a, a few really cool games, mainly for my kids. My kids love Super Mario Kart, and, you know, I love Super Mario Brothers. So here we have uh, Super Tux 2. I'll show you that one for a minute here. <laughs> I don't know what the, all this means up here. Warning frame out of range. I guess I need to resize this window. But being brand new to this operating system and just barely started... Downloading these games, I don't want to fool with that just yet. I've spent a lot of time already getting this part on. Oh, no wonder it's the development version. No wonder. So that's pretty cool. I'm quit out of that. My, my kids were playing it earlier today. I, I have already gone and picked up Opera. Oh look, known end player. I can play some music right here. Didn't even know that until now. This is so many cool surprises and cool things. I'll go to internet, opera. I've already downloaded this for mint install. And now I'm in opera. Funny thing, it always always wants to Make that the home page, but I'm gonna I can change that easily myself. And here's my favorite, it's a speed dial. Like my new car. <laughs> a couple of my speed dial pages. On, on my other computers I've had much longer being operating, you know, I have all these filled up. Um what should I say? What else should I say? Hey, I, I need to I need to talk about something. I'm in such a good mood. I was trying to answer myself a lot of questions that I don't think I could have asked easily to somebody and just gotten the answer real quick. I have tried so many different Linux distros on my netbook and almost every time they have frozen, timed out, basically quit, the kernel panicked, a number of different things. Even on the netbook remix from from Ubuntu 9.04. I haven't tried 9.10 and I'm going to. I have that ready to go. So I realized my netbook is only 1.6 gigahertz Intel Atom processor. It's like saying I'm trying to power a whole large room with a 20 watt bulb. <laughs> very light, very slow. Uh, on the other hand, my, my laptop computer is my Lenovo 3000 series and the specs on that is 2.16 gigahertz core in, Intel Core 2 Duo it's about the best thing you know when I got this about six months ago it was just top of the market I mean the the hard drive space is, is kind of light because I, I want to get the price down the hard drive space in full is only 160 gigabytes that's alright uh, on, on some things I can just 
saved to a, a external hard drive. But uh, you know, I just I do majority web-based apps. So. So anyway, I wanted to ask myself this question: Are the Linux distros being faulty because it's a netbook? Or are the Linux distros being faulty because maybe the way I installed it, or are they just faulty programs altogether? Because when they were working before they froze, when they were working, I had just a blast with them. I just love these things. I love these Linux distros, the open source. So I got the, the Linux mix right here on the on the laptop, fired it away, and I have now logged about just over a day, day and a half. The only thing, which which is my fault, the the only thing is I was playing I was playing a game. It was Super Tux Cart, and I accidentally hit the space bar, and the whole game disappeared. But the sound wouldn't quit, so I I tried to go and find the program. I couldn't. In Windows, I normally just do Control Alt Delete and see it, and you know do end program. But I but there there's these multiple windows you um, slide across. And I forgot how to do that. So it could have been something, I mean, the whole system didn't freeze, nothing else happened. I could have just turned the volume down all the way. But for that reason, I went in and just powered down the system, and I wanted to show you what, uh, it being powered up again. That's what you saw. Again, Linux Mint 7 for the win. It makes, it makes things so simple. Whether it's something for, for a person that doesn't know anything about computers and just wants to get on a computer, it's all right as long as there's someone in the room, someone in the house that you know understands the the up the not the upgrade the the download. Because a few times I was downloading. Once I went to try and download Firefox 3.5, but I couldn't find where it went. And then I thought I said, all right, I'll just do it off of the other download center, which is a separate center. I went and um, I went and downloaded op Opera. Well, I knew where that went just because last time I worked with, with Linux Mint before. I just went to Internet, and there it was with Opera. And then, wouldn't you know, I found Firefox 3.5 that I downloaded the same spot. So the thing is, it's so overly simple. It's like if I went and I downloaded a web browser, it automatically goes and throws it in the Internet section, which is a little bit new to me because... Well, I mean, and maybe in the Apple Mac, it's it's very similar too. It goes to the applications, you know, and then I could I could put a shortcut or I can put the widget or whatever, not the widget, the, you know, the, the item on my dock, which is really like a shortcut, you know, straight to it. Linux is uh, very similar to that, and again, it's just it's just a guy newer new to the system. I promise you, my next video, I will be reviewing Ubuntu 9.10, the Netbook Remix. Enjoy this music video right now. I did have Ubuntu 9.10, the regular version, on my Netbook. It did have a few bugs, and I'm not for sure if it was the, the Netbook or if it was because I downloaded the first one or two days. Maybe you can tell me. Although I am more convinced now that these higher distros are not suited for a netbook with its ultra low power. Ultra low power. Therefore, you really need to get a very, very light distro. Like, I guess Puppy Linux or maybe... K, uh, X Ubuntu, maybe. I haven't played with that, but some other people said that worked. But what I know for sure is some Netbooks remix. You know, Moblin makes it. I heard De Debian's in the process of, but, you know, Ubuntu is a derivative of Debian anyway, and now Ubuntu has um, the latest one that I'm going to be trying out today or, to, or tomorrow. But I'll be downloading it, uh, installing it to my computer today. Thanks for being a part of it again, folks. I love Linux. See you later.